Welcome back to the channel, and today we are diving into the Scrap Mechanic dev vlog number 25, which seems to focus a lot on a lot more bots than I was expecting. I did not realize that there were this many new bots coming in the future, uh chapter two update. So let's just get into it. Calling all mechanics. We are back after spending the last few months in the content mines. It's time for us to report on our latest progress. We'd love to show off all the details from the next chapter. It's getting increasingly harder to do so without spoilers, but rest assured you will see all of it on release. That's why we decided to do a bot reveal special for this dev blog. So here's a peek at just some of the new bots. So that implies that there are more new bots than what are we what we are even seeing in this dev blog. So starting off, uh, it looks like we got a yellow type of bot that has like crushers or press things and springy legs. And here is a gif of it in action. And this kind of looks awesome. Plus we can see we've got the new, uh, new outfit here, a walk outfit with a carrot, or not carrot, a corn backpack. So these guys look like they're basically uh, mobile flying hydraulic presses. <laughs> they try to crush you and they also create a shock wave. And oh wow, interesting perspective on this one coming straight down onto uh, some destructible objects and destroying them. Oh, there appears to be some type of knockout or a stun mechanic for these guys. You can see the, the spinning stars above their heads. I wonder if they did that to themselves accidentally somehow. I think we see it happening here. So when a piece of debris falls on top of them, it knocks them out. So are these like, <laughs> are these like Goombas and Mario? If you jump on top of them and hit that, uh, that plate on top of their head, do you end up stunning them? Except, you know, in Mario, it kills them. Here, it appears to stun them. Okay, so we can see that he stuns us as well if uh, we are within the shockwave here. So here we go. Yellow tote bot. Let's actually read what it says about it. Get ready to readjust your base walls or crank your vehicle's engine a bit higher when you see this new bot jumping into the scene. Originally designed as a fully autonomous power tool, the yellow tote bot has since gone renegade. Now it stomps its way across the planet, eager to flatten any mechanic it sees, no matter how many ceilings and floors that's a smash in the progress. So I don't know if these, if all of these new bots are gonna be included in the different uh, raid waves when it comes to defending your base or defending your farm. I hope not because this thing looks absolutely devastating. I hope it doesn't take that many hits to kill because yeah, this thing looks like it is a nightmare for uh, just your base. All right, who we got next? Okay, so this appears to be some type of aquatic bot. It has literal flippers on the ends. It's like a, it's a tote bot. Oh, it has a fin on the back too, like a shark fin. It's a tote bot that has been painted blue that's got a drill and fins. So let's see this thing in action. Okay, it's basically like jellyfish kinda. Okay, what else is it? Oh, all right, that's a little terrifying for water travel. Oh, and they, of course they can walk on land too. They're, they're amphibious. We have an amphibious bot. Blue tote bot, just when you thought it was safe to get back in the water, originally designed for offshore drilling, the blue tote bot has since decided to become an underwater torpedo instead. To make matters worse, it can also move fast enough on land to catch up with any mechanic that aggravates it, so watch where you dive. Okay, this one just seems a little bit OP. It's it's it, it's superior on land and water. Look how fast it is. This guy's in mid sprint. He's sprinting and he can't get away from it. What if you're out of like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you're actually gonna be able to get away from this thing by running. Like, what are you supposed to do? How does it attack on land? I wanna see its land attack. Well, I mean, I guess the tote bots themselves, they just kind of hit you with their legs. So maybe he does the same thing. Maybe he slaps you across the face with his flipper. All right, up next, these were ones that have actually been teased before. So they're not completely new information here, but we get to see some more. Oh, holy cow. They are so fast. I thought they were gonna be like tote bots. Like, you know, like the floppy little, just like one step at a time thing. These things are so fast. That is unreason. I do not like this. I am do not like this. This chapter two is hard mode. This thing is terrifying. Like, look at the way it puts its arms up and screams before it explodes. Oh no. Oh, this is, this is your worst nightmare right here. This right here is the worst nightmare of any mechanic with their vehicle that they've worked so hard to build in survival. Especially, look at this vehicle. This vehicle has so much detail on it for a survival vehicle. This bot right here is probably going to be the most terrifying and jump scary bot to just turn your camera and see right behind you and just not have time to react because it's just instant your creation has been uh, mutilated right in front of your eyes. All right, Red Tote Bot. We've teased this clanker before, but we've never shown him in action until now. Originally designed to clear away the mine shafts using explosives, 
explosives, some of the red Topots have since wandered up to the surface. When they encounter a mechanic, they will ignite their payload before rushing at their target, and they won't stop until they reduce their target or anything standing in their way to smithereens. Yeah, that is the absolute worst a bot ever. <laughs> All right, let's move on from that monstrosity. Oh, we've got new tape bots. Are these sticky note bots? <laughs> All right, so it's a green tape bot. It looks like everything's pretty much the same other than the fact that they're covered in sticky notes. They also have bubble... Oh, are these bubble wrap bots? They seem to have bubble wrap dispensers. Yeah, they definitely have bubble wrap on them. This is an interesting interior. Yeah, they're just kind of... No, no action shots of these guys, apparently. Don't really know how fast they are. I'm assuming they're pretty much identical animations to tape bots. They just have some type of other function. All right, green tape bot. You've already seen this little bot on our Twitter. Once, this unassuming clanker would only bubble wrap fruits and veggies until the latest firmware update made it run amok. Armed with a roll of weaponized bubble plastic, it might not pack much of a punch by himself, but a bunch of them can ruin any mechanic's day. Okay, so this is pretty much like a weaker version of the tape bot, but they may be more inclined to group up in numbers, according to this. It is nice that we will have a tape bot that won't kill you in two shots. <laughs> we'll have to see, we'll have to wait and find out to see how these things behave by the looks of it like all of the shots have multiples of them together whereas the tape bots they tend to be a little bit more spread out in my survival experience all right oh another variation of the tape bot i mean they kind of look like tape bots but these are paint bots all right let's see so we're getting more of this new type of warehouse aesthetic it looks like uh, a plant like a farmhouse maybe like plant-based warehouse all right so what are these guys about oh look at the Look at the multicolor amazingness in that tank there. Oh, this is interesting. So it's like a sticky bot. It, it slows your movement. I wonder how much damage it does. We don't have any damage or health indicator on this GIF here. All right, yellow tape bot. An elegant bot for a civilized age, the yellow tape bot was perfectly harmless, designed to keep everything neat and tidy in storages by painting labels with its special four color ink. Following the disastrous firmware update that made it run amok, however, this clanker has found new purpose. Now it uses the same sorting ink to hurt and slow any mechanic it sees so it does damage and it slows you down which it combined like this bot combined with the presence of like a normal tape bot or other bots is going to be a nightmare to deal with because you're going to be trying to run and get in position and hide and then this thing's going to slow you down and then you're just going to get shot and die something tells me chapter two is going to have a lot of frustrating deaths all right what do we got now what are these there's no bots in these pictures oh this is general yeah here's more pictures of this greenhouse warehouse oh what if you look over here why is there the underwater bot inside i mean i guess there's some water here for the plants that he's like kind of chilling on the water but you can't swim in that it's too shallow it goes up to your ankles all right what else do we got going on in here looks like there's some loot from killing one of the bots presumably maybe we're going to finally get some information about what this new warehouse style is Oh, okay, so this guy is just getting bombarded. Oh, yeah, see, look at that. Oh, uh, there was like three tape bots, or not tape bots, there was like three uh, bubble bots, bubble wrap bots, the green tape bots. So it does seem like those green tape bots uh, group up in numbers. So they are gonna potentially do some decent damage despite the bubble wrap being less lethal per shot. All right, here we go, Grow Labs. Ruin runs are great, but we've been working hard on populating the game world with additional cool places to explore and loot during the course of your survival mode adventure. One of those places are underground grow, grow labs, fit to burst with green and yellow tape bots. So that implies that there aren't blue tape bots in there, which is really nice because the blue tape bots are just OP. These little dungeons offer exciting combat and some cool plunder at the end for those that venture inside them. Okay, that sounds fun. I kind of like, I like this now. I like it because of the fact that they seem to not have uh, blue tape bots in there because one of the most stressful aspects of a normal warehouse run is the fact that if you encounter two blue tape bots, at the same time and they both hit you you're dead instantly like there's just it, 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 any corner could spell instant death this one it seems like you're probably gonna have more time to react and respond to uh to an ambush so i feel like this might be a less stressful more rewarding experience all right what is this okay we got some new machines here maybe oh i bet this is the mobile farming they they teased in a previous uh post or dev vlog about mobile farming opportunities so you can have farms on like a moving base so here we go oh now i was wrong ore prospector get more out of your ore with the latest addition to the game the ore prospector a machine designed for both mechanics that love to build automated crafting chains as well as those that like to do things manually with its help you'll be able to filter the finely ground gravel produced by the 
or crusher in order to retrieve rare materials like gold and more. Okay, so this is interesting. So we have a refinery over here. And it looks like these are the ore prospectors that will sort and craft with the different types of ore. And the interesting thing is there is a water cannon here. So there's something to do. You, you have to give water to these uh, ore processing machines. So that is going to be interesting, especially in like the underground area, because this is clearly in the underground caves. We, I still don't I have no idea how the underground area works yet as far as like is there are there particular transition points from above ground to underground or could you just dig anywhere? I'm assuming there's gonna be like dedicated digging like terrain that you can only dig in those particular areas. But uh, that's, I could be wrong about that too. We'll have to wait and find out. All right, what do we got going on here? Not sure. Oh, is this something to do with, is glass different now? It is different. There's actually like refraction in the glass. Look at this as it goes by the glow bug. Ooh, new glass. We haven't just been working on Scrap Mechanics content. After doing the new and improved lighting system we mentioned in the last dev vlog, our elite team of graphics engineers have been working on updating the game's visuals according to modern standards. This time we're excited to introduce our newest glass shader, which allows in-game glass to shine and distort like the real thing so your buildings, vehicles, and other creations can look better than ever before. And that's just one of the graphical updates we've got in the works. Okay, so that de it definitely does look more natural and better. The glass is pretty cool. All right, what else we got going on here? What is this? Is this a quest giver? General rebalance and item schematics. Ooh, is this a blueprint machine? We have also been working hard on rebalancing survival modes gameplay, specifically the crafting recipes and how items are obtained during the course of the game. So the gameplay can flow better than ever before. Our latest addition to Scrap Mechanics features are schematics. When found, these collectible items will allow your craft bots to create additional items. Furthermore, we've been focusing on changing the way farming raids work while re reworking the existing hunger and hydration bars to be less annoying. I like that, that's good. More on these later. Okay, so schematics, interesting. When I found when found these collectible items will allow your craft bot to create additional items. So it looks like right now our craft bot, once you unlock the craft bot, you can just craft anything as long as you have the materials, if I remember correctly. I guess with this, it kind of gives a little bit more of a progression element where you'll have your craft bot, but you'll actually have to find schematics in the world in order to unlock certain recipes to craft bigger and better things. I'm wondering if this is going to include any type of prefabs rather than just your basic building blocks. All right, looks like this is teasing a new outfit. Walk outfit, introducing the wackiest outfit we've made so far. The walk outfit complete with a corn cob themed backpack. It might not be up to profession regulation standards, but it sure is a welcome change from all the stuffy workwear. What do you think? Will you rock this outfit? More like, will you walk this outfit? Am I right? Hmm, okay. All right, let's, uh, let's get to the last paragraph here. Next chapter update. At the risk of sounding like a broken bot, who would have guessed about this part here? We still don't have an exact release date for the next chapter. We are still aiming for this year. It's worth mentioning that the next chapter has turned into a behemoth of an update with a ton of new content. We remain confident that it will be worth the wait. We know that it can be frustrating and boring, but we have to make sure it's great. That's it for this dev vlog mechanic. Stay tuned for the next one. So once again, they're not gonna give us any specifics for the next update, which is uh, pretty par for the course. It'd be more surprising if they actually gave a release date, to be honest. But I gotta be honest, every single dev vlog surprises me with how much stuff they are working on that I had no idea that they were actually working on. Like there just always seems to be more elements to the chapter two update than I think there's going to be. So I'm hoping it is going to be worth the wait because it has been a very very long wait but uh by the looks of it it is going to be a, another complete game changer like when the chapter one survival came out it was like scrap mechanic became a whole new game and uh with this one it looks like it's gonna pretty much be a whole new game again like the survival experience is just gonna be a, a new ex a new survival experience it's not gonna be replaying with new content it's like this is now a new experience <laughs> So out of all of these little items in this update, which one are you most excited about? For me, I actually like that they teased a brand new location to uh, explore and loot. Having something other than just the nearly identical warehouses is actually gonna be a really nice change of pace. And especially that there's gonna be different enemies inside um, and potentially different types of rewards as well. 
And also the underground, like they teased the underground a long time ago. That's just going to be, that's always going to be a really interesting thing as well. So let me know what, uh, what you're most looking forward to from this update. And also which one of the bots is your favorite and least favorite from this update? My least favorite is always going to probably th be this guy because just the amount of damage he can do instantly is terrifying. And, uh, my favorite one, um, I don't, I don't know. Like they're all kind of not going to be a pleasant experience. It seems like to encounter, you know, I'm going to say my favorite one are, are these first guys here. They look really cool and kind of hilarious to, uh, to fight. So yeah, that pretty much sums up this dev blog. Looking forward to your feedback in the comments below. If you guys have it, it might be worth looking at some of the previous dev blog reviews because they all have different content that uh, is new and fresh from this dev blog that also gives more information about what to expect in chapter two. So I'll leave a link to that on the on the end screen right here. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.